Today we're going to look at logging into our Google account so we can use it to do work, things like get into Google Classroom, use Google Drive, and that type of thing. The first thing we're going to need to do is open up the Chrome browser. Typically, you'll find it on the desktop. If it's not on your desktop or if your desktop is hidden, you'll want to go down here to the Start menu, click Start, come over here, drag down the menu bar, find Google Chrome, and open it up. Now that this is open, we can see and identify who is logged in. Right now, to find that out, you hover up over here in the right-hand corner on top of the little person, and it says Current User. Okay, well, we want to be logged in as a Hamtramck Public Schools student, so we need to add an account. So we're going to click right here, and we're going to click Add. This box is going to pop up, and we need to give it a name. So we're going to call it School. Okay. You can pick any one of these little characters that you like. Click Add. Now this screen should come up. And because you already have an account as a Hamtramck Public School student, you don't need to get started. You need to already a Chrome user. You're going to select Already a Chrome user. So I select that. And this is where you're going to log in with your 700 digit number followed by the at sign Students dot hamtramicschools.org. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to use a little bit different username because this is a test or a demonstration. I put HVS student. That would be your 700 number. You have to put an at sign. Students. dot Hamtramck schools dot org. Okay, click next. Now it's asking you for your password. This is the same password that you've been logging into computers at school with all year. So just use that same password. Okay, I'm going to click Next. Now, you're probably going to see this box right here if this is the first time you've logged in setting up your password on this computer you're using at home. You want to say Link Data. Select Link Data. Once you've done that, you're going to get another box that says Turn On Sync. Say Yes, I'm In. Now, when we hover up over here in the right corner, it says HVS student, that's the name. It would be your 700 number if it was you. If I hover right here, I can see HVS student at students.hamtramicschools.org. That's the email address for this user. And it says HVS student unknown. It says unknown because there's no last name attached to this account. You also notice, if you look over here on the left hand side, it says Hamtramck High School Bookmarks. Depending on what school you go to, over here on the left side will be bookmarks for your school. If you go to Taw Beta, it'll say Taw Beta Bookmarks. If you go to Hamtramck High School, it'll look like this. If you go to Dickinson East, it'll say Dickinson East Bookmarks. If you click those, these are different bookmarks for things that you may be using in class. So that's how simple it is to get signed in to your Google account. Now if I click on these little waffles, I can go over here, I can go into my Google Drive, I can use Google Classroom if my teacher's assigned it. If I need to type something, I could use Docs. If maybe we're going to try using a Meet, if you're going to meet with your teacher, um, all these things. We'll talk about some of these later on. So for now, I'm going to close this. I'm also going to close this. Now, let's open it back up again. This time, I'm going to click here on the desktop. Oh, I look up here in the corner, and it says Current User. I'm not listed. Click that. You don't have to add. Now all you have to do is go to your name, click it, and now you're back in. Click on your waffle. There's your Google Drive. Um, you're, you're signed in and you're good to go. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for your attention and your time.